Let's take a closer look now at how we define stock positions and the boundary of assets we record in macroeconomic statistics balance sheets. Stock positions are the total holdings of assets and or liabilities at a point in time and we record them in a unit's balance sheet. To discuss stock positions in the context of macroeconomic statistics, we must first determine the asset boundary of macroeconomic statistics. From this, we will then derive the definition of assets and liabilities. In macroeconomic statistics, we only record economic assets from which economic benefits can be derived and over which economic ownership rights can be enforced. Note that both these conditions need to be satisfied for an asset to be an economic asset. Different kinds of economic benefits can be derived from an asset. For example, the ability to use the assets in production, such as buildings or machinery, the generation of property income in the form of interest or dividends, or the potential to sell the asset and thus realize holding gains. Macroeconomic statistics record the stock positions of the economic owner of the asset. There are two types of ownership that can be distinguished, legal ownership and economic ownership. The legal owner of a resource is the institutional unit entitled by law to claim the benefits associated with a resource. The economic owner of a resource is the unit entitled to claim the benefits associated with the use of this resource by virtue of accepting the associated risks. For example, an airline may become the economic owner of a plane that it leases from the legal owner. The airline receives the economic benefits by using the plane and also accepts the associated risks. In most cases, the legal owner and the economic owner of a resource are the same. If not, the legal owner has passed to the economic owner the responsibility for the risk in using the resource in an economic activity, as well as the associated benefits. There are several examples in macroeconomic statistics where the legal and economic owners of assets differ. In the case of a financial lease, which often applies to airplanes, Economic ownership is transferred from the legal owner to the economic owner. This may also be the case with resource leases, like some licenses and permits to use natural resources. Economic ownership is also crucial for the appropriate recording of public-private partnerships, or PPPs, in macroeconomic statistics. With PPPs, often the economic and legal ownership is different. Sometimes, Government claim legal ownership of a resource on behalf of the community at large, such as territorial waters. In this case, economic benefits also accrue to the government on behalf of the community at large. Government is thus the legal and economic owner. In the case of financial assets and liabilities, the inherent benefits are seldom transferred from the legal owner to the economic owner in exactly the same form. They are usually transformed to new forms of financial assets and liabilities by the intermediation of a financial institution. In summary, the asset boundary in macroeconomic statistics includes only the economic assets of the economic owner. The total holdings of assets and or liabilities at a point in time are recorded in a unit's balance sheet.